Hey guys, what's going on? Hitpaws here with a quick question about some root motion that I have here. I am very confused. I have an animation here that I authored with root motion intact. And if we take a look, you can see that I have this object moving forward and it's staying directly underneath my pelvis. If you can see my pelvis is right here, it's here. This was generated uh, with a motion extraction node using the cat rig. So it's pretty much guaranteed that it's directly underneath the character. So I don't have any issues with that. The problem is, is that for some weird reason, this plays twice as fast. When I play the character here without root motion, I just want to show you my animation blueprint here. In the actual event graph, I disconnected everything. And in the atom graph, I disconnected everything. He's playing this animation and that is it. On his character, I've disabled everything. He's doing nothing. He is told to use this animation blueprint, which essentially tells him to walk. And without root motion, you can see quite clearly, no sliding. The animation is in sync with his velocity perfectly how there's no other way. I couldn't do this any better myself, right? And if I play it, we can see that the character is moving and there is no sliding. We will turn on root motion, which extracts that. You can take a look. Root motion is now locked here. Okay. This will now take my character along with it, but it's going twice as fast. Look at that slide on the ground. He's moving twice as fast as he's supposed to be moving. So again, all I'm doing is playing the animation. I got no input. I can't do squat here. So why? do I get such a dramatic difference in his actual velocity when I enable root motion? I don't have any scaling on the character. He's one for one. Everything's one for one. And again, here, as soon as I turn that off, that's perfect. And this is not drifting. It's not as if I have, I understand that, that, that some people can make the mistake or I can make the mistake that you could additively end up adding the, the motion of the, the transform onto here. But this isn't the root my pelvis is not the root. The pelvis is in fact linked down here to the transform. Cat took care of that, stripped that animation out of the pelvis as well, threw it to the root, which was the point, right? No slide. Let's get down in here to these little beautiful feet and let's see that there is no slide. Okay, there's a little bit of a raise, but there's no slide. So I seriously don't understand why this is so clean. And then when I come here and I use this, I tried other things here. I tried anim first frame, uh, same thing. It's twice as fast, clearly too fast. He's just, I'm just moving way too fast. And then we come here and I try the, the root lock. No difference. Here's another odd one. Let's change the speed to point two. I slowed down and my movement slowed down. I'm not moving as fast. However, I'm still exactly two times as fast. I, I'm only saying two times. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a ratio too fast. I'm either two or four times too fast. I can't tell what it is. It might even be eight. But I'm moving too fast for the animation, even when I slow it down. There's some ratio that's getting completely shot off track here and I don't know what it is and I need help. Hopefully somebody has dealt with this before and knows what's wrong. Again, you can see quite clearly sliding, just sliding across the ground. There is no need for that because if we take this off, that boy is not sliding across the ground. Okay, so I, I need help. If, if anybody knows what's wrong or what I can do differently, please let me know. This is Hitpaws signing off.